Hello everybody! Today we are going to be reading a different kind of book. This book is different from other books because it has no words in it. Today we are going to be reading what is called a wordless picture book. And the book that I have chosen for us to read today is called Good Dog Carl. And it is written and illustrated by Alexandra Day. This book can tend to be a lot harder to read than a normal book though because you need to observe everything the pictures are showing you to understand what is actually going on since there are no words in it. While reading this book, we are going to be making a lot of predictions and inferences. Predictions are when you guess what will happen next, and inferences are when you fill in the information that wasn't directly given to you. So since this book is missing words, we're going to need to try and fill in those words. So I will be asking lots of questions during our story to have you help me understand the book and see what will happen next. Can you help me with this class? Good Dog Carl, written and illustrated by Alexandra Day. What do you notice about this cover? I see a really big dog on this cover. He must be Carl. It says he's a good dog. What do you think makes him a good dog? Do you think he plays with toys? goes for walks. Let's read to find out. Look after the baby, Carl. I'll be back shortly. That must be Carl the dog. Do any of you have a dog at home? I also see a woman and a baby. That must be the mother and her baby. The mother has her purse. Where do you think she is going? Carl is staring at her while she is speaking. He must have to watch the baby while she is gone. Now this page has no words, so we're going to have to figure out what is going on. I see Carl staring out the window, but the mother is gone now. He must be watching her leave. But look, the baby is now awake. What do you think he wants? Let's continue reading to find out. Oh look, Carl is now standing below the crib while the baby is crawling out. Do you think this is safe? Is Carl being a good dog for helping? He must be getting the baby out of bed to keep a better eye on him. It looks like they got out of the crib safely. I see the baby is wearing a blue and white striped shirt, and he is riding on Carl's back. Carl must be a very big and strong dog to carry the baby. Where do you think they are going? It looks like they went into a bedroom. What are these two doing? I see the baby laying on the bed while Carl is standing on it. They must be playing on the bed. Now what are they up to? I see the baby patting a fluffy pink thing onto Carl by the mirror. He must be putting makeup on Carl's face. Two dogs wear makeup. I don't think they do. Now they're staring at themselves through the mirror. Carl has a necklace and a lid on his head, along with some white powder. The baby has a napkin and makeup brush on his head. It looks like they're having a lot of fun, don't you think? Hmm, what do you think the baby is staring at here? I see a laundry sign and the baby staring through a doorway. Carl is also watching the baby closely. I see a pile of laundry also. Where does this door lead to? Do you think they will go in it? Maybe the laundry goes down through the door. Uh-oh, why is Carl sprinting down the stairs so fast? Carl looks very worried. What do you think happened? Maybe the baby fell where the laundry goes down the chute. Do you think he's okay? Let's turn the page quickly to find out. Phew, the baby is okay. See, he is sitting on a soft pile of clothes and waving at Carl. Carl is standing on top of some stairs staring at the baby. Where do you think they are? It looks dark and cold. I think they're in the basement. The baby must have fallen down the laundry chute into the basement. Oh good, it looks like they're coming out of the basement. Carl has the baby on his back and is bringing him up the stairs. Do you think Carl is being a good dog? I think so, he saved the baby. Uh oh, it looks like Carl was moving too fast because he ran into a table. Look at all the papers fly everywhere. What are they staring at here? Oh, it's a fish tank. Oh no, the baby fell into the fish tank. How do you think he fell in? It looks like he is swimming. See, his arms and legs are both moving. Carl has his nose in the water too. Do you think he wants to swim? Oh no, he doesn't want to swim. He's trying to grab the baby and pull him out. Do you think he will get him? Oh yay, he got him out. What a good dog. Now where is he going? I see Carl walking up to the radio with a lot of records next to it. Maybe he's going to play some music for the baby. Oh look, Carl is dancing for the baby. He must have turned some music on. 
What do you notice about the baby? He has his arms up too. He must be having fun dancing with Carl. Oh no, now Carl is getting into the fridge. What do you think he's doing? Do you think he's going to eat all the food? He's opening a bag of bread. I also see some butter on the floor. What does the baby have in his hands? Oh, it's a sandwich. Carl must have made the baby a sandwich. What a good dog. Now Carl is holding something in his mouth. They are round and green. They must be grapes. I know you have to put grapes off the stem, so he must be helping the baby. And now what is Carl doing? He has a can of something brown. And he's pouring it into a cup the baby is holding. Let's go to the next page to see if we can figure out what he is making. Now he's pouring something white into the cup. Hmm, I wonder what they're making. Maybe it was chocolate and milk, so they can make chocolate milk. Now Carl and the baby are looking into a jar. What do you usually keep in jars at home? It looks like they just ate a whole meal, so maybe they're getting a cookie out of the jar for dessert. Oh no, it looks like they made a big mess while they were eating. Look at that spilled milk and chocolate all over the floor and all over the baby. The baby is on Carl's back again, and they are heading up the stairs. Where do you think they are going? Do you think they're going to clean up their mess? Look, Carl is starting the bath, and he is putting the baby in it. Do you think he is cleaning him up? Now Carl is drying the baby off, and he looks all clean. Do you think Carl is being a good dog for helping the baby? Now he's using a blow dryer to dry off the baby. Have you ever used a blow dryer? They must be all done. Carl is using his head to help the baby back into the crib. Maybe it's time for his nap. Now what will Carl do now that the baby's in bed? He is putting things into the trash can and licking the floor. He must be cleaning up their mess from eating. Carl is looking out the window again. Maybe his owner is back. What do you think? Now Carl is making the bed and cleaning up the makeup. Did he clean up everything they made a mess with? What do you notice about this page? I see a woman coming into the fence of the house. Who is that? Oh, it's the mother. She must be back. I also see Carl watching from the window. He must be excited. I know my dog is whenever I get home. Do your dogs do the same thing? Carl sure looks tired on this page. It looks like he is laying down to take a nap. But wait, is the mother home yet? Good dog, Carl. Yep, the mother sure is home. And it looks like she thinks Carl is a good dog too because she is petting and praising him for watching her baby. Now that we have read our first wordless picture book, I want you guys to help me put some words to the book. Just like we did in class, we inferred what was happening on each page. Now I want you to do this yourselves. You're each going to choose a page and draw it out. Then you're going to infer what is happening on this page by putting your own words to it. Here is my example of the second page of the book. I drew out the original picture and then I put words to it. 